Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the show, and I'm here to talk about uh, some NFL uh, news. We're right running to it here. So, first thing I'm going to talk about is Tavon Austin. Uh, some breaking news today. Uh, he's announced he's retiring from the NFL. He released a, a big statement. Man, remember him at West Virginia? That that highlight reel I, I've seen. It's for a uh, People that don't know who he is, you can watch uh, his senior highlights at West Virginia. One of the best highlight tapes ever. Never forget him, man. I thought he'd been retired, but he wasn't. But his speed was legendary. Had a great career. Surprised he wasn't already retired, though. Like, I thought he was, but apparently he wasn't until now. But yeah, the college highlights are most of his career, but he had a solid NFL career as well. So, <sighs> so I gotta say there. Uh, so, uh, the last NFL news I talked about Hollywood Brown and how he had that sternoclavicular injury. How he's that long worm, not part of the nerd community. Uh, so we got an update. Uh, hashtag Chase Wide Receiver. Uh, Hollywood Brown's expected to miss four to six weeks with the sterno clavicular injury he suffered per that shelter report and I don't think he's going to be ready for the season opener because the season starts in what three weeks three like three weeks so he's going to be out about four to six weeks he's not going to miss the whole season obviously but he might be out for the first few weeks of the season so at least for them it's not season ending but it could be more like six to eight weeks. I wouldn't be surprised if he misses most of September just to be on the safe side. But, we'll see. I mean, I feel bad for Chiefs fans, but they have to watch Kadarius Tony's play wide receiver start again. So we have another Brandon Ayuk update today, and a pretty big update regarding Brandon Ayuk today. So, update! Uh, the hashtag Steelers and hashtag 49ers have a deal on a potential Brandon IU trade. And, and, in all caps, the Steelers are in a, end quote, good place with IU on a contract extension per at rap sheet. All the 49ers have to do is say yes. And it seems like the trade will happen. I know people be like, oh, pretty Ricky 2 and 3. Oh, yeah, he announced, he announced this weeks ago. Announce is just basically him guessing what was going to happen. <laughs> Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Excuse me. But it, honestly, just get this deal done so we can stop hearing about this crap and have to report about it. Or I have to read these reports to, to you guys every NFL news. Pretty Ricky 2 and 3 is going to freaking wake up. But it. I'm not going to say he's right yet, but it looks like we're finally getting a trade. And then the update found this in a quote tweet. <clears throat> the hashtag Steelers have been waiting multiple days for a response from the hashtag 49ers in regards to this, says at DM Rossini. Seems like us fans have been waiting months for a response. I mean, I feel like the 49ers are going to make this deal, it's going to happen. That's, maybe that's why they drafted Ricky Pearsall in the first round was, was because maybe they thought about trading Brandon A the whole time and they, that's why they drafted Ricky Pearsall with the 31st pick there. But they should just get rid, just get it over with. Like, it's like been forever. But he has so many good pieces around him. Like, why leave for that man? Why would you want to leave from Brock Purdy, George Kittle, Christian McCaffrey, Debo Samuel, Kyle Koshchak offensively, and that offensive line, all that offensively, for Russell Wilson and Mike Tom. When you when can be on a Kyle Shanahan-led team. So, yeah, the Steelers have apparently been waiting for days for a response. So, it looks like we could possibly have a trade sometime soon, ladies and gentlemen. So, um... 
Giants rookie running back Tyrone Tracy appears to have suffered a major non-contact leg injury. It was carted off the field with an air cast on his leg today, but apparently, um, according to, I believe it was Ian Rappaport, it was just a very bad ankle sprain. But absolutely horrible for them. Like, so many injuries happening even before the regular season starts. But I think it was a bad just ankle sprain. Or something like that. So we got some bad news, ladies and gentlemen, for, for the Vikings rookie quarterback. Uh, breaking! In all caps. Hashtag Vikings rookie QB JJ McCarthy is expected to undergo knee surgery to determine how much time he will miss after complaining about knee soreness. Per Adam Schefter, it's a meniscus issue for McCarthy. Damn. That's just bad luck. I mean, Sam Darnold's already going to be a starter, but he can't. But now he can't be replaced by J.J. McCarthy during the season if uh, J.J. McCarthy's going to be out for months. And this isn't a nightmare of a draft pick because you, you haven't seen him play. Cause he's, he's not going to play in the regular season. This is just bad luck. Just brutal for the Vikings. They didn't get a chance this year. See, that's a torn meniscus. Uh, for J.J. McCarthy. And he's going to be out. I don't know how long. Um, but yeah. He's going to undergo. He's uh, going to undergo surgery. To repair a torn meniscus. In his right knee. And I guess a decision will be made. At the time of his operation. About whether his meniscus requires. A trimming or a complete repair. Like there's two different return timelines. So we'll just have to see. Yeah, torn meniscus. Got underground underground surgery. Tough break, man. So, um... Browns rookie. Browns rookie defensive tackle, Michael Hall. He's expected to be arrested following a domestic dispute last night per Akron Jackson. Worked his whole life. Worked his, worked his whole life to be in the NFL, and he throws it away just to be in a domestic abuse. And um, there was a quote tweet to this. Uh, what what the what happened? Disturbing. So uh, disturbing. So according to the incident report, the alleged victim says that Brown's rookie defensive tackle Mike Hall threw her belongings outside, dragged her along the porch and driveway, and later put a gun to her temple, saying, "I will fucking end it all." Jesus Christ, man! What the hell? What the hell? Worked your whole life making the NFL just to th throw it away. This should be more than like a four or eight game suspension. I'm tired of the NFL just giving these guys, let, just giving them a slap on the wrist, giving them just like these four or eight game suspensions. Like, according to this incident report, he dragged her along the porch and the driveway and put a gun to her temple. Like, the NFL, but the NFL's basically told us many times they don't they don't care about violence against women, so I won't be surprised if there isn't a, a long suspension. We'll, we'll see what happens. Maybe he'll get a long suspension. Who knows? Um, uh, the Bills are placing wide receiver Chase Claypool on season-ending injur injured reserve. Man, this, the damn fall needs to be freaking study. This guy from Pittsburgh. He's just falling off. Uh, the Commanders are signing free agent wide receiver Martavis Bryant per Adam Shafter. He, he'll be cut before the end of the... He'll be cut at the end of the freaking training camp. Not training camp, but uh, preseason. So free agent quarterback Colin Kaepernick. He's still hoping for another chance in the NFL. Colin Kaepernick return. Just let it go, bro. It's over, man. You ain't never coming back. It's a recycled story every year. So I don't know how this guy keeps, like, talking, getting into, the, like, media talk. So the Falcons, they're hosting free agent safety Justin Simmons for a visit per that rap sheet. 
Siemens and Jesse Bates. That'd be a really good safety duo. How has he not been signed yet? I guess because he's 30, but a contender could still use him. I think he's still really good. That's wild how this man's still free agent. That would be a great safety duo. Jesse Bates and Justin Simmons, like, whoo! Sheesh! Well, I don't know if I mentioned this in the last NFL News video I did or not, but if I'm repeating myself, oh well. I just can't remember if I talked about this or not, but uh, Jets star pass rusher Hassan Reddick has requested um, to be traded from the, from the Jets per at Schultz Report. His time with the Jets is Aaron Rodgers, basically Aaron Rodgers last year. Hey, at least Aaron Rodgers got in the field last year. But it's just, it's, it's been a mess. Hassan Reddick, he's kind of become a drama king. We gotta be honest here. Sucks because he's a great player, but he's become a coming drama king. And he's not stepped on the field for the Jets in, in a game or practice. He wants to be traded as the team has failed to give him a contract adjustment. Just absolute head case he's been in. And then you get the statement. Um, they attempted to give him an offer before trading him. Before training him, that he was allowed to pursue a trade, he rejected their offer. I'm not sure why they even traded for him, I guess. I, I don't know. I don't know why he thinks he has this kind of leverage, but... And then the Jets made 100% clear in the statement from GM Joe Douglas. And uh, we've informed Hassan that we will not trade him, and that he's expected to be here with his teammates, and that he will continue to be fine per the CBA if he does not report. Since the trade discussions back in March, we've been clear, direct, and consistent with our position. Our focus will remain on the guys we have here as we prepare for the regular season. End quote. From uh, Joe Douglas. So, They've made it clear they're not trading Son Reddick, so despite his trade request, uh, things are getting ugly in New York, ladies and gentlemen. Things are getting New York. Are getting ugly in New York. I'm not gonna lie, they kinda cooked with this. Tired of teams caving into people's trade requests, and Joe Douglas ain't caving into the trade request. They trade for him, and they want to keep him on their pass rush, because it would be a great, it would be great, you know, with the guy, what's his name, Huff on that defensive line? You have Son Reddick? Like, we'll see, but that's all the NFL, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I hear on that shield, so, um, till next time, I have a lot, peace.